What is up everyone? My name is Ross and if you're new here and you want to learn more about Photoshop photography and other various forms of multimedia witchcraft, I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button today and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss a thing. Today, I have a follow-up video to the one I did last week and if you didn't see it last week, I'll link it up here uh, above. But basically, last week I showed you how to change uh, basically any color to a specific color that you so desire. And in that video, if you remember, I said it's very hard to take a light color to a dark color and vice versa. Well, today I'm going to prove myself wrong. I amaze myself sometimes uh, in doing these things. So we're going to show, let's just hop into Photoshop. What I'm going to do here is we got a, a lovely image of a white shirt uh, and we're going to take this to black. Do you believe me? Well, you should. So stay tuned. We're actually going to do this act in only one step, technically two steps, I guess, um, but it's going to be one layer and I'm going to show you it's going to be level. So let's hop in. Once again, to save time, uh, and if you need this video or you want to see this video, let me know in the comments below. I've already made my uh, selection. I pre-made my selection, so if I go over here to my channels, I've got this selection. And once again, to load a selection in Photoshop, just hit the command button and click. It's a command click, and that's going to load our selection. So once that selection is now uh, loaded, I'm going to just add a new levels adjustment layer and watch this. All I'm going to do, so you usually play with these three sliders up here, right? Well, you can uh, play with the slider below. I think this is black point and white point. And if we pull our white point all the way down, you'll see it's going to make it black. And we're going to stop right there. And we're not done. Trust me, we're not done. This does not look good. We've lost all dimension in the shirt, right? But we've got that black color. Um, we can play with this a little bit. I might drop this. You can't really see it right now, but you'll see it in a second. I'm going to drop this uh, midpoint a little bit towards the black end as well. Uh, but what we're going to do, where the magic happens, and if you're not paying attention to what I'm doing in some of these tutorials or most of these tutorials, is the Blend If tool. It is going to be your friend when you're trying to blend uh, anything in Photoshop. Lighting, uh, shirts, for example. So I'm just going to show you. What we're going to do now is double click on this, and it's going to bring up our Layer Styles dialog box. And I'm going to just pull up over here so we can see what we're doing. All we're going to do, there's this two, there's two sliders in here. It's going to be blend if this layer or the underlying layer. And once again, we're going to work on the underlying layer. The way this works is it says, I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again because if you've not seen my videos, I'll just tell you. Basically, it's saying blend with this layer below if it's this color, which would be shadows at this end, or if it's the light colors and the highlights. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to drag this in, and you'll see it's blending everywhere except those highlights and that's what we want but we don't want it to look like this let's look look this looks like garbage right so i'm going to pull this all the way back and if we hit option or commit or alt on a pc we can split this and it's going to create a feather and you can see how this is working now and because this is a black shirt we're going to feather this pretty heavily because even though it's a black shirt those highlights are going to have actually a lot of light tone in them it's going to be more of a lighter gray and this is looking pretty good i might go a little bit back uh towards the highlights but the shadows I don't want them so dark in there so I'm gonna pull this actually down a little bit so we have some detail I'm gonna hit OK and that's pretty much good this is where I would stop it but if you want to take it further and you want to affect those highlights a little bit more we would just command click our layer mask here to load that selection again and add a new let's do curves this time adjustment layer and all I'm gonna do is drop the white point now just to make it a little bit more realistic and maybe double click this Let's see if the blend if in the shadows does anything. This actually looks fantastic. I've surprised my, surprised myself. I didn't do this before uh, when I did a dry run before hitting the record button, but this actually looks fantastic. This is our before, this is our after, and that quickly, I've surprised myself. I said it was hard to do, but it's really not. But I do want to point one thing out. Your image resolution does affect this. So I'm just going to show you my image size here. Look at the dimensions here, 2046 by 3069. That makes a huge difference. If you have a low quality image, this is going to get very pixelated very quick. But if I zoom in here, this holds up. Uh, just excuse my masking, that's not a tight mask. Um, but you'll see it actually looks pretty good and it passes. So that's how you turn a white shirt to black, but I'm sure this would apply to any object like car color, uh, anything, anything that you can imagine. Just, just I'm going to reiterate what we did. All we did is made our selection. I'm gonna drop that and just pulled our white point all the way down to black and did blend if. It's that simple, guys. If you wanna learn anything in particular, let me know below. But I hope you took something from this video. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments below. Either way, if you did or didn't. My name is Ross, and I hope to see you guys next week.